in the streets. Yeah, in the streets. If you believe in God, I'm gonna repeat this to all my young boys that's out there in the streets. If you believe in God, when you pray, ask, to, ask God to send you to jail, man. You hear me? When you pray at night, or you pray in the morning, or you, however you pray, you make sure you ask God to send you to jail. Because when it go down, it's gonna go down. And I'd rather you go to jail than to go to heaven. <laughs> when them GBBs pull up, them Get Busy Boys pull up, and they start lighting up because you want to be out here in the streets, ask God to send you to jail. See, a lot of the reality of it is a lot of you need a five to 10, seven and a half to 15 to 10 to 20. Yeah. They act like jail was such a bad thing, but the reality of it is jail saved a lot of lives. They're going to save a lot of lives because that five to 10, when he was doing that five to 10, he had been out here getting it jelly knocked out they biscuit so if you believe in god to all you young in the streets ask them to send you to jail you know what i mean Cause you, cause ain't no coming back from heaven maybe you could do a little five to ten you can come back get your mind right but you can't come back down that escalator back from heaven so if you in the streets and you want to be a thundercat when you pray <laughs> ask god to send you to jail because ain't no coming back from heaven Jesus, oh, that's man. hilarious man um, so what do you think they should pray to go to jail because there's no coming back from heaven? Yeah, I see what he's saying. It still doesn't make sense. I mean, it don't make sense to me. So what he's basically trying to say is go to jail, get your life right. And that way you can come out and be a better person versus getting shot up in the streets. And then you don't get to come back and enjoy life. Exactly like, it's, right. it's over. It. Mm-hmm. And so, um, the interesting part about that is I wouldn't say, you know, I've never heard anybody say pray to go to jail, but I have heard people say, listen, if you're a young guy out there, maybe you go to the military, right? I have a cousin who went to the military and he, he got his life on track when he went to the military. It's like, you know, you, you find purpose, you find you make better decisions when you get that discipline. Um, I was in uh, ROTC in high school and y'all know I had a little issues in high school. So for me to go through ROTC, it was like, you know, people kind of was like, hey, you can't be the class clown anymore. You got to you got to you know do the right thing so um i think that's what he's trying to say like you know just get a better perspective of life if you go to jail and you do five to ten years i know for for me i had a family member who went to jail and that's how he found christ you Mm. know um and so you know i I see what he's trying to say but i wouldn't be praying about that he he's i mean his point is absolutely correct i mean the point he's making is um it'll be better for you to go to jail than to die sure the weird part about it is He's assuming the that alternative you. is heaven. Right. <laughs> so, right. Right. Well, that's not the alternative. Why would yeah. you think that's yeah. the alternative? Well, because he, he's Islam. He's Muslim. Yeah. Gilly's Muslim. They don't believe in hell. Yeah. Mm. But my thing is, if I'm going to pray to God, why not just pray, Lord, help me be able to lead the streets? Exactly. Why, Lord, take me to prison, then get me out of Skip all the prison stuff. Stop just say, acting God, yeah. can you put me in the position to where I can lead the streets? Yeah, well, I don't yeah. have to do these things. Yeah. Why, Lord, put me in jail? I'm not going to pray. That. Things happen there too. <laughs> things now, happen there. You know, and we do prison ministry, so we go in there. Plenty of guys say, "Man, jail, the best thing happened to me, man, because mm-hmm. the direction I was going, hey, I wouldn't be here right now if I kept on doing what I was doing. I feel like God allowed me to come in here and sit down, and get myself together. That's cool. But not one of them guys prayed for jail. I'm pretty sure they were like, "Lord, just help me be in a better you, situation." You think some of their parents pray for jail for them though? Yeah. Oh, I had a cousin that yeah, was I like that. Parents did. Dang, praying for your kids. Like Can't that. you just pray for their heart to get right now? <laughs> nah, I had the <laughs> parents pray. It was like, cause one of my homeboys got locked up. He like, man, I can't stand here. And the parent was like, you can and you will. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, it's over yeah. with. I had a cousin who um, passed away, and I remember his mom saying, like, at least I can sleep at night. I don't have to worry. Mm. He was in those streets so yeah, much. Yeah, some that, stuff, it just, it's that bad. It's yeah. like, it's, it's so treacherous, where it's just like when... It sounds crazy, but jail can be the best option. Oh, so yeah. I, I get where he's going, but that's not going to be my prayer. If I say, Lord, put me in a better position and yeah. jail just happened to be the route he take me on, cool. But to pray to go to jail? <laughs> yeah, it's not happening. But I'll say this. I'll say this also, too. Um, sometimes people think that, you know, I think I think another conversation in this is why do people think they're going to heaven mm-hmm. doing mm-hmm. dirt? Like yeah. you, you in them streets doing dirt. Why do you think you're going to heaven? Yeah, like that's the the misconception, especially in our community. Everybody go to heaven, you mm-hmm. know. You know like everybody, I, I remember, ain't nobody mm-hmm. busting hell wide open. I remember being at a funeral where 
um, young lady was killed for trying to rob uh, a, a Marine. Mm. And he had a knife on him. Mm. And so when they tried to rob him, Boy. he flipped her over Get and her like a fish. pulled the knife <laughs> yeah. out of her hand. And yeah, it was over. <laughs> but in the, at the funeral, the funeral, they were like, she's in a better place. And thank God that, you yeah. know, she's she's just no longer, you know, in any more pain. Da, 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 da. And everybody was kind of like quiet. Like, <laughs> we know how this went down. You know, she could have still been here. You Gilly's, know, so it's like it's, it's hard to. It's hard yeah, to Gilly's son just got killed not too long ago, yeah. and they had the ceremonies, and he was in the streets. He got that's killed. why he's saying this. Yeah, that's why yeah. he's saying this. He don't yeah. want to believe that you know my son went anywhere else but self for heaven. And then, like to be absent from the body, be present with the Lord, wouldn't heaven be better than jail anyway? Mm -hmm. But that's the thing we don't want to have. A, even as believers, sometimes I feel like we lack that eternal perspective. Like when Paul came back, he said, "I'd rather be up there, but God want me to come back down here to talk to y'all." Yeah, yeah, it's it's two different misconceptions. It's the um, we all deserve heaven, and it's the earth is some sort of heaven in itself. Yeah. Like it's it's Nirvana. greater than being yeah. with God. Yeah. And and when the truth is, we're actually halfway between heaven and hell right now, and being with God is. That is your ultimate joy and peace. Yes. We're halfway between joy and peace and, and death, right? So that would be an improvement. And a lot of people don't see it that way. They see it as a loss. It's 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 a loss for us who are left. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. That's how it should yeah. be seen. Yeah. yeah. 